All right, so now that we've actually prepared to write your resume, you constructed your resume, we're gonna move on to the cover letter and how to construct it. Um, basically, the book that we've been reviewing throughout um, discusses cover letters in depth, uh, but it also includes some quotes that maybe show that cover letters aren't necessarily important. Um, only 17% of employers bother to read cover letters. So some information like this kind of runs contrary to us worrying about cover letters, but the author emphasizes its importance and how crucial it is when there's hundreds and even sometimes thousands of applicants um, that will be fighting for one job spot and how a cover letter can actually put you above them. Um, it's, it's very important information. Um, we definitely think that you should include a cover letter. The cover letter should also include information that is pertaining to the company, not necessarily just yourself. Um, so you, you do want to make yourself seem like you're the right candidate for the position, but you also want to make it show that you put in some effort into looking at where possibly these um, employers are coming from. So you might show that you are interested in some of the work that they're doing uh, for volunteer uh, purposes, whether that be for, for any, anything um, to do with their company. You might want to include that in the portion as well uh, on your cover letter. You want it to be strictly formal. You don't want the writing to be passive. Um, like hit me up if you want to uh, uh, reach me at my cell. You want to be, um, thank you for reviewing my cover letter uh, and my resume. Um, I believe I'm a potentially good uh, candidate for the position. If you'd like to contact me, uh, please uh, address me via email or uh, via my personal telephone at whatever number. So you want it to be strictly formal tone. You don't want it to be uh, even some sort of scholarly tone would be applicable and uh, definitely include a cover letter, especially if you're looking for a specific job. If you are just building a resume, uh, just in general, um, it might be good to have an academic cover letter and an employment cover letter. Um, so you can save those separately and whenever you're applying for one or the other, you can have specific details about your academic history um, that you find relevant and that you think puts you ahead of someone else.